Hello guys, this is Mrunal from Paraguide. In this video, we are going to demonstrate timer event in activity. Timer events are events which are triggered by a defined timer. We can use timer event as start event, intermediate event or boundary event. Boundary events can be interrupting or not. So to define a timer, we can define using three types. Timer date time duration time cycle so in time date it will accept a format specify a fixed type called date and time in ISO 8601 format in time duration we can specify how long the timer should run before it is fired for repeating interval we can use time cycle. Time cycle can be useful for starting process periodically. Additionally, we can specify time cycle using cron expressions. So let's demonstrate timer start event, timer intermediate catching event, and timer boundary event with a business situation. Let's consider the example of salary generation process so to generate a salary we have defined a workflow so in this workflow we have used three type of timer event so first is timer start event a timer start event is used to create a process instance at a given time it can be used both for process which should start only once and process that should start in specific time interval. Also note that time timer start event cannot be used in sub processes. So with timer in intermediate catching event acts as a stopwatch when a timer is started. So when timer fires the sequence flow going out of timer intermediate event is followed so for time boundary event it will act as a stopwatch and as alarm clock when an execution arrives in a activity a timer is started when timer fires activity is interrupted and the sequence flow goes out of the timer Now let's discuss the execution flow of salary generation process. So the workflow will start with specific time and here it will go and assign a task to collect a salary data and from here it will wait for duration and from here it will go and assign a task to generate a salary slip and it will also assign assign a reminder so that the user will get reminder to generate a salary slip after completion of this task the process will goes to process a salary and from here it will end the process so now to define a timer we need to define with specific time cycle or time duration and time date so now let's discuss this as we can see time definition can be defined in three types so for time date we can define in ISO 8601 format so here the timer event will trigger on 11th of March 2017 at time 14 so similarly for time duration we can define a duration so how long the timer should run before it is fired so here we have defined a duration of period of 30 days so it is also support the format of ISO 8601 and for time cycle we can define a cycle with a special 
repeated interval so here we have defined the timer interval of recurring to of period time 15 hours also we can use cron expression to define a cycle like here we have defined so let's switch to of workflow as we have discussed now we can able to define a definition for timer event so for starting the workflow we will start a workflow on the each first date of month so to define that i have used cron expression like here we, we can see so it will trigger a workflow on the first date of each month so after five starting the workflow it will goes for the task and from here to define a wait of two days we need to define time duration so we have used time period of two days like we can see here and to define a boundary event we have used a time cycle so that it will remind the user in every two hours so here the first completing the two days of waiting period the task assigned to generate a salary slip the user will get notified on every 2 hours to complete this task so we can define this with the timer boundary event after that the process will goes as to start a process salary task and the process will end so let's deploy this process by saving after the saving we can deploy process from here now you can see the process is deployed in the process section of deploy process definitions we can see our process is deployed now we can start our process from here so after starting the process our process we start on every month on first date so likewise we can use timer events in workflow we can define timer start event timer intermediate catching event and timer boundary event which we have defined in our workflow so thank you guys for watching this video